Good morning. It is 11.17 and I've took almost two weeks off work. Now, why did I take two weeks off social media? And I'll tell you why. Because I needed a break. Like, I never, I normally, I always go and do, I do vlogmas and then I vlog all the way through and then I don't leave myself a break. This time, I want to leave myself like two weeks break, like a two week break. And it's almost two weeks. Yeah, almost, it's been like one week and two, three, four, five, six, six. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve, twelve days. I'm coming back on the twelfth day because I feel like I miss you guys so much, and I feel like I need to come back, and I just want to come back. But I have washed, I tanned as well, so I'm looking bad. Go by one of my. But I am so excited to be back. I am literally ecstatic to be back. I just can't believe I'm back, and I'm film, and and I'm back to work, and I'm back to doing social media. I just absolutely fucking love it. I just needed the break. So I did do like some news resolution on my TikTok. One of them I failed already because I think I went, when I did my resolution, I went in hard and then I burnt out like in a week and a half, like like nine or 10 days I burnt out. So I said I was gonna be plant-based. I'm not gonna be plant-based or vegan. I'm gonna be eating what I want because I want to get my weight loss. My prior focus this year is weight loss. And I am looked at myself, looked at thing. I said, I don't wanna be this way next year. Last year I was like, I don't wanna be this way next year. I really don't. And you know what? I have got the willpower this time to do it. I don't know what has happened over the, the first week and a half of January. I didn't have the willpower. I just said all the stuff and then basically done it. I went to the gym on the 1st of December, the 1st of January, which was really good. And then went on the, uh, then went on last week, Saturday, uh, Saturday, Saturday. And I'm telling you something, for some reason, I have just come out of my shit. I have just basically sat back, realized what I'm doing. And it's just going, do you know what? I've had enough. And with the help of my husband, I can do this. So yeah, my husband's going to help me. He's going to help me in bits, but he will help me. It's going to be good. But yeah, I just can't wait, you know, to do it and everything. I just can't wait to have everything good and me to be like, oh my goodness, I can do it. But yeah, I have got a dress. I've got some jeans on and some things, so you can really tell how about my weight then. My husband's in, but yeah. I'm back! <laughs> So I basically got some Savage X anti bras and then I started to cancel Savage X anti bras because I got the most ridiculous, ridiculous answer. So I got my stuff from Savage X Fenty in 3X, right? So you'd think if you get them in 3X, they'll send you 3X, right? No. Apparently, if you get a 3X, they're gonna send you a fucking 2X because apparently in America, the sizes are basically, if you're a 3X in, so if I'm a 3X, I'd be a 2X in the US, 2X, 2X in the US, but they, it won't be a 3X size and it'll be a 2, it's confusing. So the reason why my, so I got these, got them in a 3X, but then they sent me 2X which is shit, but guess what? Apparently the, the ridiculous thing that I got was, the reason why you sent, uh, they got a sent a 3X is because um, if you wanted a 3X, you should have got a 4X because in America, they think that you'd order a 3X, 3X and a 4X. What stupid, it's so stupid. So I have got one bra and I'll show you. It's, there we go, this is the bra that I've got on. It's so comfortable and I love it. It holds in my goods, holds in my goods. Thankfully, this actually fits me and I absolutely love it. So I mean, it was a point through because it's cold. But I got it in that color, which I absolutely love. Look at the color, it's absolutely gorgeous. And I got it in this emerald color as well. Then this doesn't fit, this fits me, but tight. So basically, this is what I got in 2X. Should have got a 3X. So how they do the size, and I don't think that's how it works, because last time I got a 2X and I got a 2X. This time I got a 3X and got a 2X. So that is stupid the way they've done it. So yeah, this is it. This won't fit me, but once I use a little bit more weight, this will actually fit me. It's one of these ones. This was on sale though, so I thought, why not? But this one, is such a gorgeous color. It's such a gorgeous color. I love the color. I used to not like green, but but as this color, this color's green, but it's this type of green. It looks so, so pretty. So yeah, I've got these from Savage X Fenty and I, the bottom one doesn't fit me. The two other ones do. And they are bralettes. Now, what I do like about these is basically they have sh they have these straps at the back so you can adjust them. That's what I do like them because normally when you get bralettes, they don't have, they have like a little thing or sometimes I don't even have a strap to a thingy. I will tell you what, it's so comfortable. But I did cancel my VIP membership just because I couldn't afford to have the money taken out from my bank every month. And the guy's like, you do know that they can we can basically, um, you know, skip a month. He tried everything to let me stay. And I said, no. I literally went, no, because I just wanted to come off. So I had to basically uh, change my battery, but he uh, tried everything to get me to stay. I just said, no, I just want to cancel. But I have, got, I bought some stuff from Morphe. Now for Morphe, I'm going to tell you what I bought. So for Morphe, let me just know, for Morphe, I bought 
the Jacqueline Cosmetics thing that is going. So I bought the setting spray. I bought the blush do I? Probably not the right one, but I bought it. I bought a lipstick and I bought a sponge and that's it. But yeah, and then I bought, I have bought a foundation as well. I didn't realise how much money I spent until I bought the foundation, but it's fine. I bought the Laurier Mercier foundation that is going viral this year. It went viral last year, but big influencers didn't really kind of, you know, pick up on it. I'm going to do some meal prepping now and watch some stuff. But yeah, I'm going to do some meal prepping, which I'm going to do. But yeah, meal prepping is really good, but I just need to get some stuff done. Yeah, I'm going to marry up some granola, some stewed apples, some granola stewed apples, some egg cups. I might, I might do that. Then tomorrow, so this is Saturday, so I might do this granola that I should have today and then do this a cup tomorrow. But yeah, I'm gonna go for it, but I need to clean up the kitchen first. Okay, so I have done some meal prepping. So I haven't done them all. So I'm making apple stew. This is six apples with some cinnamon and water. And you're gonna let that go on until basically they're kind of reduced and the water's reduced and they're stewed apples. Next, I have basically got some granola here so what i done is i popped porridge oats and cashew one cup of porridge oats half a cup of cashew cashew yeah half a cup of cashew um cashew nuts and then basically got a coconut oil made coconut oil with some peanut butter stir it together and popped it on here and they look really really good like they look amazing some of them aren't really sticking down together you do get some things but i'm more the person who doesn't like the uh, i don't like the granola when they're all stuck together because it's not my thing Kind of like that. Then after that, I'm gonna pop in some raisins and a whole bag of <laughs> and a whole bag of dark chocolate, and then pop it into this Tupperware right here, and then put the lid on, and then pop it into my cereal cupboard up there. But yeah, now I want to make some egg cups, but I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna make them today or tomorrow. I could make them today, and it'd be so much easier. But I'm not quite sure. But yeah. Pet snacks and mango is delicious. If you don't try it, it's delicious. My husband even likes it as well. I popped that on, so that's gonna do. Need to wait for that to cool down so I can then add the raisins. You can add anything to a granola, you can add what you like. I just like to be simple and just add some raisins and chocolate because that's what I like and that's what I do like. What I do like is I'm gonna let it cool down just a tad and then put the raisins on. Half a couple of raisins and then pop the chocolate chips on there. And then what happens? The chocolate chip melts and sticks some stuff all together, so it looks good. But yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay, I've prepped some stuff, so I'm gonna show you what I've prepped, which is really, really good. So what I have prepped, I've just so I'm making egg, egg cups as well. So I'm make egg cups and I've got them in the fridge now i've got them in the oven so first of all it's the stewed apples which look it's been amazing all it is is water apple and cinnamon but now i'm gonna pop that in the fridge but this is it this is stewed apples and then we've got the granola which look really really good like it looks so good i have tasted it and it is amazing and then this one i'm gonna pop my egg cups in there so i made four eight nine egg cups i'm gonna put them in there they're gonna cool down and then i'm gonna take them out because i've got a non-stick muffin tray because i put my muffin trays and then i'm gonna pop so in there i didn't put salt and pepper probably should have but i just didn't bother so i popped spinach egg ham cheese feta cheese anything else no and that's about it and then i pop and i spit and then and i popped in seven eggs i was gonna pop in six but i popped in seven and then what i did is here what you do let's get a bowl here's some spinach chop it up if you i've got frozen spinach so i just smashed it you know just got it all like nice and stuff and then basically i added seven eggs into a bowl you know whisk it with a fork and then what i did was i then grated some cheese any cheese you can use any cheese cut up four slices of ham you know spread, spread it apart you know like ham does it normally clips together but i put, put it in there piece by piece put the cheese in and then pops on a little bit of feta cheese in so just a slice of feta cheese and crumble it up and then put it in there and then pop then mix it up popped it into my muffin muffin pan muffin tin and then i then the rest of the grated cheese i popped on top so then you'll get like a cheesy kind of stuff oh it's gonna be so good i want to taste one today they are gonna look so not good and they're gonna taste yummy as well so yeah i got the egg cups in there which is fine i started cooking when it was light out when i went into the front room it was pitch black so yeah i'm gonna pop this in the fridge right now so this is good with great yogurt granola stewed apples some fruit and it's a good 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 breakfast i'm gonna have that tomorrow for breakfast because I, I want something like that and then monday i'm gonna use this and this tomorrow and then for lunch tomorrow i'm probably just gonna have a salad with the egg cups and everything like that so it's gonna be good you can have the egg cups for a lunch idea or you can have them for breakfast if you're finished for, for breakfast you can have for breakfast which is gonna be yummy but yeah i'm gonna stick to my two meals tomorrow which are gonna be really good i'm gonna weigh them as well so i know how much i'm gonna have to weigh 
It is so good. Like, I've meal prepped, so I've got my granola set. I've got my stewed apples for the week. And it's going to be good. So, yeah, this will last me about seven days. Uh, I'll probably do, like, 50 grams of stewed apples in there or 20 grams. I don't know how many grams I'll do. And then with granola, I just put, like, just, like, 20 grams of granola or something like that. I don't know. But then I'm going to do 50 grams of Great yogurt. At the end of the week, I will need to buy more Brian Smith apples, more stewed, stu uh, more Greek yogurt as well. But yeah, and I can't wait. So yeah, I end up getting eggs from Sainsbury's. And then I'm going to do the big pack of 15. Nope, had to get two 12s. I need to get some more because out of my 12, I have, this is all I have left. I have another box of 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I have 70 more eggs left. So that is fine. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm wanting to do, to do something good. But I did buy some things. So I constantly have bread and I just... I don't really want bread all the time, so I bought some things. I'm gonna buy another pack of these, and these are just soft sliced white sandwich things. They're not whole grain or whole meal or anything, they're just normal. And here I can have like sandwiches, or gonna have like toast. I'm gonna toast it up and put avocado on poached egg. That sounds really nice with uh, them sandwich things. Or oh, they sound really nice. But yeah, I got some stuff, and it's really good. But I'm gonna show you how I got my fridge because it's all like healthy stuff that I'm gonna be eating because I'm gonna be doing it on my weight loss. So here we go. It is majority healthy. I did get some chicken drumsticks because I want to do something with chicken drumsticks. I'm not going to use all of them. I'm about to cook all of them and then put some in the, in the container and then put in the fridge, if you get what I mean. That is going to be good. But yeah, I, I cannot wait to do that. So yeah, I'm going to wait till they're done. And then I'll show you when I get them out. Egg cups don't need that long. I put them in there a bit too long, but these are my egg cups. Look at them. They're so good. They are tasty because I have tasted some. When they let these cool down, you can tell they're cold. And I'm going to put them in the fridge along with the, all the other stuff that I've got. This should be a little bit easier for me because I'm prepping some food. But I can't wait to eat it. I can't wait to eat tomorrow. See, it's going to be so nice. I might have one of the egg cups, two of the egg cups for tomorrow for lunch. And my husband will probably want some as well. So I might have to make some more of the egg cups if my husband likes it. Egg cups are now in here. I'm going to put them in the fridge. They're full now. Put them now in here. I'm going to put them in the fridge. I meal prep. You just don't know. Meal prepping is so easy. I meal prepped egg cups and a meal prepped granola and stewed apples that you saw. It's so easy to make. I feel like that's gonna be really set me up for the week and really be good for me. So yeah, if I do like my egg cup, if my husband likes my egg cups, he will probably have some and probably eat some as well. You can have them for breakfast or for lunch or just as a snack. But uh, it's gonna be so good. But for my for my breakfasts, I did get a couple of things. So I got avocado, I got salmon, and I got eggs. So I normally have bread, toasted avocado one egg and then uh salmon and then egg but i'm not gonna do that this time i've got things what i'm gonna do is toast the things pop the so i'm not gonna do it as a sandwich i'm gonna do them as two toasts but as things and then pop the avocado on there and then i'm gonna pop a poached egg on top it's, and that's one breakfast i can do the other way i can do it is pop the things avocado salmon and red onion and let that lemon juice over the top and that will do a second breakfast with another breakfast with the salmon you can do scrambled egg and salmon and that's it that's all you do but there's also a way to do breakfast i will do if you want to know what i do eat in a week just i'm going to take photos of what i'm going to eat in the week i'm going to pop them on instagram and on they're going to be on my tiktok as well so you'll get to see what i eat once a week i will try and film it for my youtube channel as well but it'll be on my charlie not channel so if you do want to see what i eat in a week please just go there i'm not going to show you all my food on my vlog but i will show you some of the like bits that i'm eating if i get time to other than that if you want to see just go to my instagram and you can see what i eat in a week and that will start probably next monday so i'm not this monday next monday i'll just post what i eat my what i had in a week and put the photos on there and that'll be fine yeah i am so excited to basically start my week if it's not photos it'll be a reel so one of them too but i can't wait to you know do that and have everything to eat as well which is gonna be good and then i'm gonna do some exercise as well so i do and following an exercise but from natural stephanie but i do want to follow i do want to try emma rectangles exercise as well see how that goes for me as well but yeah for the drinks i'm gonna be drinking some fizzies drinks so but that are sugar-free so like pepsi max or dark color because i don't want to cut a fizzies i do like a fizzy and then what i will do is then i'll drink some water i've got my air up so i can drink some air up water i got coffee tea if i want some with my coffees and teas i do not take any sugar i used to when i was younger but i kicked that habit when i was younger i don't drink any sugar with my tea or, tea or coffee and my black coffee i can have lemon tea i can have a mint tea no, i can have flavor teas and then what else could i have and oh yeah i do not drink dairy milk so the milk that's semi skin skimmed and everything i do not drink that i drink almond milk or soy milk or oat milk 
I do like their milks. Almond milk is a bit like, what's the point of almond milk? But I do like it. It's just a lighter, a lot of thing. But if you want the protein dough for soya milk, because I'm going to be eating a lot of protein in my diet anyway, and lots of vegetables and everything, that's going to be good. So yeah, I've got some lunch ideas. I've got some dinner ideas as well. Some of them are from other YouTubers, but some of them are my own. Some of them are some Slim and World as well. I'm just going to be very i'm gonna be mindful why i eat i'm gonna have smaller portions but make sure i've got like my protein my carbs and my veg just to let you know carbs are not bad for you i know every, i know we've we've uh, we've grown i've grown up with the stigma about carbs are bad for you and you shouldn't eat the bread or anything like that now it depends what carbs you have that are bad for you but i just like carbs in general i love my bread i love my pasta i love my carbs if anyone goes carb free they really can't because do you know what else is in carbs vegetables have carbs in and everything like that but yeah i do have some snacks i need to buy some carrots so i can have some hummus for a snack i can have hummus and carrots or if i want some you know if i want a apple i've got some granny smith apples i tend to go with granny smith apples because they're a bit more tart pink ladies and red apples are very sweet and i don't really want that sweetness i want the tartness because i do love a tart apple i never used to but i've, I've grown up with having grown spent apples and they're really nice it's going to be a journey to do but i'm going to weigh myself once a week i've already weighed myself to know what's my starting weight so i'm going to weigh myself and then then at the end of the week once i've exercised so with my exercise i'm going to be exercising i'm going to be exercising monday to saturday so six days i'm going to be exercising i'm going to keep up with that schedule i'm going to wake up at five o'clock on a monday and then exercise and then safe off safe off i'm getting up around about half four five o'clock just to get out of bed get my exercise gear on and go to the gym that's what i want to do and that's what i'm going to do but other than that it's gonna be really good uh oh yeah tomorrow i'm picking up a foundation which is good and i'm waiting for a morphe delivery which has got some jacqueline hill cosmetic products in there that had gone down really badly i want to get some off her site oh my goodness the shipping from the us to the uk on her site is expensive so what happened was i had about 20 pound worth of product in my shop basket the price jacked up at 35 pound i was like oh, that was like 10 quid for shipping i was like no thank you i can't really try them out i know i'm trying them out when she leaves but if i like the product i'm still gonna like the product i'm still gonna use them even if i can't buy them even if you can't buy them i'm still gonna use them but i did buy the laura mercier weightless foundation that's going viral at the minute so i did buy that so i'm gonna try tomorrow which is really good i did get a shade buff n31 three and one i think that is but it's shade buff i don't think it's gonna suit me but i just was like what shade do i use i'm really tanned as well if i didn't tan i'd use the shade cashew cashmere but because i'm tanned i'm gonna use the shade buff and i'm gonna clip that tomorrow hopefully tomorrow good morning it is 9 55 in the morning and it, it dance off because he booked it off for a different reason. But anyway, that being said, it is me and my husband's 12 year anniversary day, which is the day we met. So we've been together a whole 12 years. <laughs> and just to let you know, if anyone gets into a new relationship and thinking it's not gonna go fast, it does go really fast. I just, I remember the first day I met him. Like I remember the exact thing that I said when I met him. I said, fuck me, you're tall. That's exactly what I said. Because it's true, I'm 95 foot 2 and he's 6'4", so yeah. And that's why I, I, I was really short and he was really tall. So on his, like, we met our POF, so plenty of fish. And yeah, he was really, really tall. Like, from my height to his height, yeah, he is tall. Let me just sort out my hair for some reason. My hair just doesn't want to play ball today. I want very straight hair. Okay, but yeah, um, I'm just there like, oh my good grief, what the hell? Like, I can't believe it. So yeah, we've been together 12 years, even through our ups and downs and tough times we have remained together and you know what i might have had some tough times with them but you know it's worth everything because i love this man so much i love him so much it's just i just love this man so much and we're going to be married for all, i think it's eight years this year in september so yeah but our 12 year, but 12 years together i think it's like we'd love to celebrate it because it's how long we've actually been together and it's crazy but i love that man so yeah he's making me breakfast which is fine and i am he goes he wants to bring it to me in bed so i'm just waiting there but yeah then after this i'm gonna wash my face i think i'm gonna wash my face now and do my skincare now and then wait for him but yeah got breakfast right 12 years together just a mini, 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 and it has this nice gold detailing and it's you just pop it in there 
and that's it. But yeah, I do like that. It's quite a nice clasp, and I do like how it is, but that, that is completely thing. This was 10 quid, I believe. That small bag was 10 pounds. Then I started to get this backpack. Now, the reason I got a backpack is just in case I go out on a walk with my husband or anything like that, I just have something that basically, you know, is just basically that goes everywhere with me. So if I go out on a long journey, I'll go to my friends, I'll do a handbag and have a bum bag. So this bum bag, this bum backpack, called a boxy minimal no that's a bo this is a boxy minimal bag and the other one is a mini backpack there were two versions but i like this version a lot better so there's this version it comes with this straps let me just you know just saying i did get a backpack because basically but this is my pack i've sorted out the straps as well so i might get them a bit bigger than that but i sorted out the straps so i can just pop it on like so and let's see if this is going to be good it feels all right it feels good and uh, back back on ages but I, what i do like is the texture see it is really really feels really nice there was an x one or a long one i decided to get the long one because i just like the way it feels and ooh, it's a big compartment in there which is really nice it's i haven't seen i think i didn't bag or anything like that and what i do like is that there's a little pocket in here and then there's a big apartment in there so this is going to be handy for if i go around my friends if i go around my friends or anything like that so yeah that's the bag i got which is very handy it does mean i have to switch bags when i do go out like places like that i'd rather like have a backpack on you know and see look it's just got a really nice backpack but yeah this is very minimal and everything that's what's called the minimal bag that's a backpack but i love this bag it's just just looks very sleek and minimal and just looks sleekish so then i got a lip liner from nyx and this is the one in natural i do have it on that it's very natural i love it and then basically i did get some elson primark so my trainers for i did buy trainers from primark but i need to find new ones new trainers from primark i like this this tan these are in the shade mocha actually they're the shade mocha and they look really nice and they feel really good like i like new trainers i uh when i can afford it i get like more professional ones if you get what i mean ones that are like you know a bit more thingy but these ones will do for now because they're, they're really good you know like that um nine pound trainers they feel they look really good and snazzy they do i do like these ones a lot because oh, they feel really nice inside there they got memory foam they have memory foam which is good. I like that. Let's see, look at them mocha shades. Never had any trainers in this colour, but I do like them. And they've got like breathable material as well. You see the breathable. So you have like material like this, that kind of the breathable material. And so the ones that are not breathable, which are quite cool. But yeah, that's what I got. And then my husband's going out because he wants to get Chinese. Okay, we just had a Chinese and I'm full. I'm full. But I've just had my makeup on. I don't know if this matches or not, but I have no idea because I'm just like, you know, whatever. Next, good. I feel like I can't put any foundation on, which is weird. Oh, well, that looks good. 